Hey, my name is Matt Lloyd and I run a company called MOBE, which stands for My Online Business Education. And through MOBE, I've helped tens of thousands of entrepreneurs around the world build more successful businesses. I live a life today that just a few short years ago, I would never have thought was possible. I spend roughly a third of my time traveling the world to places like Fiji, Thailand, the Bahamas, Costa Rica, Bali, speaking on stages, sharing what I know, and I'm fortunate enough to have achieved complete financial freedom in my 20s. But it wasn't always like this. Just a few short years ago, I had very little money to my name and life was a constant struggle. Yet, I was able to turn it all around. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where I came from, where I'm headed, and possibly how I may be able to help you reach your business goal. So let me start back from the beginning. So I grew up on a wheat and sheep farm in Western Australia, outside of a very small town, which had about 25 people in it. That's right, 25 people. The neighbors literally know each other's names of their pets. I was the youngest of four kids, and while I didn't exactly have a deprived childhood, I certainly knew that we weren't wealthy. So as business owners, my parents worked very hard on the farm. In fact, to this very day, they still do. And I saw firsthand the blood, sweat, and tears they put into the business, but it always just seemed to be a struggle, which is pretty much typical for most farmers. So from an early age, I was always thinking of ways that I could earn a few extra dollars. I was determined that when I grew up, I wasn't going to live a life of financial struggle. I had some pretty strange businesses as a kid. One of my first was selling kangaroo furs. Another, I was breeding marin in the dams on our farm. And another, my brother and I, we were selling potatoes on the side of the road to the traffic that would drive by. So none of these businesses were that successful, but I still loved doing it. I still loved coming up with ways of making money. I guess you could call me a bit of a dreamer. Anyway, my parents always encouraged me to do well financially, and as a result, I saved every penny I earned. Instead of spending the lunch money my mother would give me on our long drives to the city, I'd ask for the money instead. Instead of taking a motorbike as a gift on my 10th birthday, like my two older brothers had, I asked if I could get that money invested in a mining company on the stock market. So from a very young age, I knew I loved business and I was passionate about wealth creation. Now, after finishing high school, I took some time off and I went backpacking around Canada for almost a year, just trying to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I knew I wanted to be in business, so when I got back to Australia, I went on to study accounting and finance at university. I spent four years there at supposedly one of the top business schools in Australia, trying to learn business from professors who spoke more about theory, with most of them never having operated their own real business. I felt like I was just wasting my time, so with one year left before graduating, I reached a fork in the road, a very important decision and turning point in my life. One road would have led to a job in corporate finance where I would work 12 hour days for someone else for maybe the next 40 years. And the other road would lead to the exciting world of entrepreneurship where anything was possible and I would follow those childhood dreams of building my own business. It became pretty clear to me that there was no choice. So I dropped out of university and the first real business I decided to get involved in was also one I knew absolutely nothing about and that was online marketing. A couple months later, I had invested $40,000 on my life savings, virtually every penny I had. Uh, I had everything on the line, but I was convinced that I would soon be making my fortune. Well, I spent the next nine months continuing to invest time and money into this business and not seeing a single dollar come back. Literally, I did not make a single dollar. And it wasn't for lack of trying either. I mean, I was putting in 14 hour days, seven days a week, trying everything I could. Friends and family didn't exactly support me either. They kept telling me, Matt, you should quit, uh, you should get a job, and that I was wasting my time trying to start my own business. Now, the reason why I was struggling was because I had none of the essential business skills that I needed. I didn't know how to market, I didn't know how to sell, I didn't know how to hire staff, how to build teams, so I, I really had no idea what I was doing. So I made a point to start seeking out the right business training from the best business minds I could find. I brought books, tapes, CDs, I went to seminars, anything that I could do to get around with entrepreneurs who knew what they were doing and they were in the position that I aspired to. 
And finally, I got my first sale. It was a $2,000 sale. My commission on that was $1,000 and I was ecstatic. I literally ran around the house screaming with joy. I was just, it was one of the best moments in my life. Now at the time I was renting with my sister. I was on the brink of poverty. I was just about out of money. So I was very happy and she looked at me and she said, what are you so excited about? You've been doing this for nine months and that's all you've got to show for it. But I didn't see it like that because I knew that if I could do it once, I could do it again and again. All I had to do was repeat the same steps that generated that commission and I could replicate that. So that was a real turning point for me, but success still was a long way off. In late 2011, that's when things really started to change for me. By then, I'd been learning the business through both trial and error and investing heavily in my own business education. And after applying these skills, I was getting results. It started off small, a few thousand dollars a month, but then I gained some momentum and I had my first $15,000 a month. Two months later, we were at $45,000 a month. And then the very next month, I still remember the, the dates clearly, it was January 2012, I grossed $81,000 and it kept on growing from there. Now, for a 24 year old at the time, I mean, that was just a dream come true. From there, the business just really took off. By the age of 25, I was a self-made millionaire, so my whole life changed. By the age of 28, I'd sold over $70 million worth of my own products, services, and live events. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, in the beginning, a lot of the motivation for me for, for doing well was the money. I was very hungry to do well. I never wanted to have to struggle financially ever again. It was almost like it was a fear for me after growing up on the farm and, and not seeing a lot of money as a kid, and I just didn't want to end up that way. But once I made a few million dollars, the money really didn't matter as much. You see, I'm a frugal guy, and that, that probably comes from the way I was raised, so my lifestyle wasn't going to change regardless of how much money I made. The only difference was really that I'd fly around the world a lot more and uh, just get a lot more travel done. But apart from that, I still had a fairly conservative lifestyle. So I started looking for a deeper meaning. And that deeper meaning came from training other entrepreneurs, teaching them how to do what I was doing. You see, I was very passionate about teaching others how to do well in business using the knowledge that I had. I knew how hard building a business could be if you didn't have the right training or the right foundations. I knew how hard it could be with the financial stress and being overworked and how that could affect your life and the people around you. So I decided to start teaching entrepreneurs how to run their business the right way where they can both help their customers and achieve complete financial freedom. I know how critical successful entrepreneurs are in this world. Much of society's progress, it's a direct result of entrepreneurs who had the guts to go after their dreams. Now, unfortunately, many entrepreneurs who have these brilliant ideas and innovations, they often don't have the right business skills and know-how to bring them to life. So a lot of them fail. Now, my mission in life is to change that, and that's why MOBE is so, so important. MOBE provides the training to entrepreneurs to build better and more successful businesses and achieve financial freedom. We do this through our training products, our services, our live events, and our live masterminds. With the right training, I believe that anyone can be successful in business, and I'm living proof of that. Someone once told me that a formal education will make you a living and self-education will make you a fortune. I've spent a lot of money on learning from those who have the results that I want. The other thing we do extremely well is we help people earn money through our affiliate program. MOBE has one of the best affiliate programs in the industry with some of the biggest commissions and highest converting sales funnels around. To date, we paid out tens of millions of dollars in commissions, and my goal is to eventually pay out over $1 billion and keep on growing from there. So it's a huge goal, but it's entirely possible. And I get a real kick out of seeing our affiliates do well and make their first sale. These days, I divide my time between running MOBE from our company headquarters in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and the rest of my time is spent traveling the world and training entrepreneurs through our live events. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's a very hectic lifestyle, but I wouldn't have it any other way.
I've been able to meet and share the stage with some incredible business leaders along the way. Many of these people I looked up to and I admired when I was starting out in business and now they're training at our MOVE live events. So I get to work with amazing people, entrepreneurs, optimists, people who see bigger possibilities and are interested in solving the big problems of the world. I also recently started turning my efforts towards philanthropy and helping others and just giving back. So people always ask me, where do you see yourself in 20 years and what's the long-term plan here? And I tell them, the long-term plan is I wanna be doing the exact same thing I'm doing right now, just on a much, much bigger scale. You see, MOB is not a short-term thing for me. I pretty much sacrificed my 20s to get the company off the ground and make it flourish, and I have a lot invested in the company, virtually everything really. So it's not just a company for me, uh, MOBE is me, it is me, I am MOBE. In any given day, I doubt there's more than 15 minutes that go by where I'm not thinking about it and I'm not obsessed with it. But it's been incredibly rewarding, I've got to experience things that uh, just a few short years ago I would never have thought were possible. My mission in life is to build an international community that supports entrepreneurs and enables them to build bigger and more successful businesses and also help create a better world as a result. I hope you can join me and if you do, I look forward to shaking your hand at one of our future live events. Thanks for watching.